show you how to make the F117 Nighthawk. And this is actually a really nice airplane. It looks so cool. I don't even think it should be considered a paper airplane. It should be called a paper model. And yeah, in order to make it, you will need those materials shown to you. A pencil, paper, and tape, scissors, maybe a pen sometimes. So you want to do is get a piece of paper and fold it in half and fold it in half again the other way. And then fold it in half again. Then you want to cut the middle right here. And using the template that I used from the blueprint of the of the airplane, you want to make like a triangle so you can see like the exact angle. I don't have like a protractor. I think that was called to measure angles, so I just use this. Then you want to use your builder to fold it down because I, I think it's easier than actually like folding it on your own. This is actually my second time I've ever made this airplane and I like rarely do that. Usually I, I make two or three airplanes first then I started making it for YouTube but I haven't made a video in a month so try and do catch up I haven't made a video like for many months so if you want to catch up again that means sometimes skipping steps so throughout this video I made a few mistakes and also tried out new things that actually worked out pretty well that I haven't tried before so you want to fold it in half and you want to make fold it so it lines up with the edge of the paper And do the same thing to the other side. This airplane is actually really small. If you think about it, like we're using a whole sheet of paper right here. It's actually not that small. It's, it's, it's the same size as my, all my other airplanes. But compared to this, this surface area right here, it's actually really small. And there's a reason for that. It's because I like small airplanes. That's my personal reason. But structural reason is because it makes it much stronger, like making an airplane that big, it's gonna make it very weak, especially while using this kind of paper. It's not gonna survive very long. And this makes it much stronger. So I wanna draw a dot between two and four centimeters. This is gonna be like the edges of the plane. Then you wanna trace the back of it, the wings and the engine. And yeah, I try to draw a dot where it is. It's supposed to be about 13 centimeters from the front of the airplane. So the first three draw a dot. This is where we're gonna be like the triangle, like the point on the top. And 10 centimeters after that is where the back is gonna be. Make sure it lines up properly. Because one time it didn't. You want to trace it in the other side too. For this one, you, you can just trace back the engine. That's really what you need right there. Now I want to see where the corner is right there and connect it to the first and second dot you drew. And then you want to do the same thing to the other side.
you wanna fold it so the paper lines up with the first or like the line closest to the middle then you wanna do the same thing to the other side make sure it's all perfectly lined up because it isn't a lot of space because it is kind of small so the smallest mistake will, will be a big difference with the airplane then once you're doing that you want to tape it so like it won't like move or anything this airplane actually took me so long to design I've been trying to make this airplane for at least a year now. Each time, like, I failed and failed, and I just, like, got, like, tired of it. So I just, like, decided to make another airplane. But so many people have to asked me to make this one, so I finally did get enough time to finally make a design. And there we go. So for this one, you draw a line, and right with the folders, you'd want to draw a dot. Which is about 1.75 centimeters away from the center. You want to like cut it all the way to the dot is, and do the same thing to the other side. And this is kind of weird because you want to fold it down, then fold it back up again, but make sure it's like right in the Four corner right there right in the end in the section. So once you fold it back up again, it won't interfere with the fold I You probably didn't understand what I think it said, but just watch and try to understand See it like right in the intersection right there And fold it keep keep on doing it until it no longer sticks out basically And do the same thing to the other side all these extra layers of paper actually makes it much stronger, which is the thing I want. It also gives it more mass, because more mass means more velocity, which means it flies better. So as you see, when you try to fold it up, it doesn't really work very well because it's like sticking out a little. So you want to cut it. Make sure you cut the first layer of paper only. The top one. And do the same thing to the other side. We're gonna like fold these separately, so it makes like an angle, kind of cool. Kind of like that. It's really complicated because there's so many layers, but don't worry, I'll, you'll get it afterwards once everything becomes neater. So here in the back, I want to do the same thing as you did in the front, draw a line between all of them. And this is where the whole vertical stabilizers are going to be. But first, you want to, if you want, you can put some tape here because these things are kind of annoying. They're just flapping all over the place. So that's basically how it's gonna look like once we've taped it all together. Also, you wanna cut it right behind there. And 
And if you want, you can actually put a paper clip right in the middle, right? Because it this airplane is actually kind of back heavy, so when you draw it, it won't it will like basically do backflips. It will glide for a few seconds, but that's about it. It needs some weight in the front. Even though it does actually fly really nice, it's not very stable because these airplanes were aren't really meant to be flying. You can uh, even with a pilot, it's like almost impossible to fly it. So, yeah. So right here in the corner and that fold right here, you want to about draw a dot, cut it about one cent one inch into the airplane. Then you want to cut it so it lines up with the corner of the wing right there, the bottom. See? Then do the same thing to the other side. One inch all the way to the bottom. This one kind of came up a little bit curved. It's kind of weird, but it still works. So right here, in the, right in the, from here in the corner, you want to fold it down. Make sure it lines up with the bottom right there, because there's no gap in the bottom. After then doing that, you want to fold it from the top all the way to the, so it makes an angle. It might be easier to use a ruler too. And also you can tape it all together so I won't like get all messed up with all the paper everywhere. After like folding it down right there you want to reverse fold it. Or you can do it on the other side too and first. That one didn't want it to fall for some reason but whatever. So after folding it down, you want to reverse fold it. It can be kind of hard sometimes because the paper is kind of thick now. So you just keep unfolding it like that over and over again until you can finally do it. That's still too much paper, so I'm gonna fold it one more time, right in the other four we did. Oops. So, after that minor incident, let's get back to work. So, I'm gonna fold it, tape it right in the first, the top layer only to the rest of the airplane. It's still gonna be separated, but at least they're t they're together, kind of, so you can like move it around a little. And do the same thing to the other side, which you can barely even see because I'm a terrible recorder or filmer. And you wanna cut it like right in the middle, right there, and do the same thing to the other side, right in the middle, which you can't see again. Because I'm a terrible filmer. 
So after that, you wanna like tape the top part first. And only the top part first. You wanna connect them together, make it small triangle. And it makes like a little, it's really cool actually. After doing that, you only get those papers and make it like a pyramid kind of shape. Then tape it on. And remember how I said you can only tape the top one first? Because that's why, because you're gonna stick your scissors in there and push up, up against the paper so you can like seal it nice and well. After doing that, then you can tape that on. And make sure the two triangles in the sides actually become like either touching or really close to each other. Kinda like that. Because once you do that, then it's gonna look like an angle like that. It's really cool. But the other one didn't have that. I just came up with it right now on the spot. So you can thank me right now. So all this extra paper, just cut it off. Yeah, it's dead weight in the back which is already too heavy for the airplane. Do you want to get another panel or template, I mean, to make the her vertical stabilizers. They want to fold it down and fold it back up again, just like uh, we did in the nose of the airplane. And keep on doing it. And do the same thing to the other side. Make sure everything is nice and flat. Then you want to tape it on to the airplane. And you want to re like reverse fold that top one so it looks better on both sides. So you won't be able to see it that much. You can just trace it and then cut, cut the outlines. This lighting is so weird. I don't know what happened, honestly. It's annoying me. You can add more tape, but I'm not trying to add too much or else it's going to be like too heavy in the back and you're going to need more weight in the front. So I'm going to try draw the triangle back again because I could cover with paper. So right in the back at the vertical stabilizers is where the back is and you basically need to connect it with a wing just by leaving 
about a quarter of a centimeter behind the wings itself because that's how the airplane is designed. And then you're like remove the entire section right there. I know it's a waste of paper, but oh well. There's like nothing I can do about it. Basically it for the back for the engine for well, the exhaust basically this is gonna be the engines so make sure the back is nice and straight this one's already kind of straight so I, I don't even have to cut it but this one isn't and from the middle all the way to the, like the edge basically almost at a point Cut it, and you should actually use a ruler first to make it nice and straight. But don't don't cut it all the way on the very tip. Leave it like 0 0.104 millimeters of it. Then you want to fold it all the way to the top. So this is gonna be the engines. Yeah, it's really <laughs> um creative. I don't know what for it him. Like, I don't know. That's the only thing you can do. So you wanna tape it on from the inside first. Then wanna fold it up. It's kind of hard. You can use scissors because this is actually a really small airplane. After taping the inside, you want to tape out the tape the outside now, obviously. And I just gotta say, this I mean, this elephant looks amazing. I just can't imagine me ever building this airplane before. Honestly, I honestly thought it was gonna be impossible, but here I am honestly doing it and I honestly say this every single time it's just amazing so this is what the nose intake's gonna look like basically you fold it it goes back then front again so make it look somewhat like that I'm trying to make it at least symmetrical try keyword so you can see it's kind of big in the front so I'm gonna fold it you wanna cut about halfway back and you you to cut like just like barely anything like that much maybe less yeah like that from the side and the top this is actually gonna look cool because it like it looks more realistic to the actual airplane because it like goes out then in again so like that I just taped it because I can't really do it on camera it's too hard so it's just put in tape you wanna like it's not hard it's just kinda a little tricky because it's kinda small you wanna like put some scissors in there to make it nice and straight you also want to put some tape in the way here so it makes the wings stronger. You won't have to, but I like it. It protects it from like impacts and stuff. Then you want to cut out the, the rest of the wings. And 
you're basically done. You can add more tape in the back if you want to. Make it nice and flat. And that's basically it. This airplane looks amazing. And yeah, I just can't stop saying that. It's just incredible how it looks. It looks just like a model. And for the handle, you get just a random piece of paper from the scrap, put it right in the middle, tape it on, flip it, tip it in the other side. Then you can do, you can choose whatever size you want. You can like cut it there, cut it there, cut the tip, and yeah, that's basically it. I like to make it smaller actually. That's around good. And for the paper clip, you can just tape it on right there. Or you can use a bigger one and put it more in the front like in my other airplane. But I don't like having paper clips because I don't really like flying my airplanes. I just like to have them in my room. And that's basically it. As you can see, this is, I only made two airplanes this time. Because I didn't have time to make a third one because I wanted to make my videos, this video as soon as possible. And this is just amazing. I love how the front looks, like all the panels and stuff. It looks amazing. It looks so realistic, I can't believe it. So yeah, well thanks for watching and subscribe for more. I'll try to make videos at least once a month now, so subscribe for more.